everybody welcome back to the channel so we have some final decisions to make so we can share the surprise with you guys so this is what we are looking for in a new rig Number one is going to be a larger bed. Number two is an open layout. Number three is we're looking for a large lithium battery system. Number four is a second sleeping area. Number five, a more powerful engine. And number six, most importantly, to me anyways, roof access. Hey everybody, we're back here at our home base in beautiful St. Augustine, Florida. When we were deciding on a new rig for ourselves, we honestly thought we might have to size up and go to a class C or even a smaller class A. Yeah, so to clarify, there is a small class A that actually is under 25 feet. I believe it's 24 and a half feet. Uh, it's a Thor Access or a Thor Vegas, depending on what side of the country or what dealers you purchase it from. Uh, it was one of the original rigs we looked at before van life or anything. So yeah, we went and looked at one while we were in Albuquerque, back in New Mexico. Uh, we looked in the St. Augustine, Jacksonville area online, found a lot of them. With the RV market though, prices had gone up for where you could buy one for around 76000 and now they were in the hundreds, <laughs> like low 105, 110, depending on what dealer you went to. So, and that was the set price. You, you know, they had it for like 115, but you'd probably get it for 105, 110. So, we really, really thought about it. The one in uh, Albuquerque was a used one, and we were actually looking mostly to go with a used rig because you just can get such a better deal, even with the market the way it is now. You could save ten, twenty thousand dollars easily on a drivable rig. So that one was ninety nine originally, I think, and then they went down to ninety four. No, that in Albuquerque it started at one hundred and ten for that one. Oh, okay. So there was another one we looked at that was 99. They dropped to 94 at a different dealer. So we had some options, uh, and we loved the layout of it. It was great. We really thought we were buying that. Yeah, we definitely did. And maybe down in the road in the future, that is something we that's still uh, in the back of our heads and something we've discussed. But we opted not to. Chose not to, one, because it is much wider then obviously a van like the Travato we're sitting in and it also gets pretty bad gas mileage in comparison uh, because we would be towing a car we would have been getting probably right around 10 miles per gallon because the point of getting something that size was just like our list said more space uh, second sleeping area uh, just better comfort we could go on the roof on that not really designed for like being up there all the time though so that was another downfall and overall in the long run we would have had a lot of added fees uh, and things that added up with the way the world is right now with gas prices you know they are going down a little bit right now not holding my breath though probably gonna go back up uh, 
but we would have had maybe nine or ten miles per gallon, so that would have added up. Uh, we did buy that smart car that you, uh, if you follow us on Instagram, you saw. We'll probably show you guys that too in another video. We bought that because that is actually towable even behind certain vans. Yep. So we wanted a really lightweight, really good gas efficient car. So we bought that with the idea we were getting the access or a van that's on a Sprinter chassis. So that gets us to what we actually ended up purchasing from a private seller down in Jupiter, Florida. Introducing our brand new Storyteller Overland Mode Classic on the Mercedes chassis. It's not brand new though, it's used. <laughs> it's brand new to me. Brand new to us. <laughs> So that was just a little sneak peek of our new van. We will soon be releasing a video with a full tour for you guys. And as you guys can see, it's a little dirty in there. The modifications have already started. We've already put in one major modification with a few more to come. So you'll have to stay tuned for those mod videos, which essentially they work for the Sprinter, for the Storyteller. but. Some of the mods you can put on any van that you may have. So please consider giving this video a big thumbs up and also consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And make sure to drop some comments. We haven't been getting a ton of interaction and we love interaction with you guys. So please drop a comment, even if it's just say hi and say where you're from. Or if you're on the road, let us know where you are or where you're going because we do have a change of plans, which we will also be sharing in another video. So please stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see